guys what's going on big red bullion here today we are starting our silver chest set this will be our second chest set done uh, this is a little bit bigger than the last one that I did but we're gonna see how it goes so first of all what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pack in the base of that mold with some sand so it's solid just like that and we're so now it's solid and even okay so there's our pawn now as you guys know the pawn is the most important piece on the board um, so to start off with grab some sand here we're gonna fill up the top part of our flask with some sand just some loose sand we'll gently packing it in don't want to over pack it all right So make sure that's semi-firm. Scrape off the extra, because we won't need it. And then scrape that side to make sure it's nice, clean. All right. So now what we want to do is just powder up this half here. And we also want to powder up our mold really good. Okay, so now we want to carefully start pushing our piece in. And when you push your piece in, make sure you are pushing it in straight. Because if you're not pushing it in straight, you will get a bent pawn, and we don't want a bent pawn, do we? So, that being said, I think that looks good. I need to go to about the halfway mark on this, so maybe just a hair smidge more. All right. Good, good, good. All right, we are looking good on that. So, now what we want to do is we want to add our sprue into place. So here, we're just going to use a wooden dowel. And that'll act as our sprue, okay? You guys see that okay? Now we're going to add on our top part of our flask, just like that. And you want to just grab some loose sand that is broken up with the fingers and just gently put it on top covering the piece or the mold and just gently pack it into place all around the sides all on the mold make sure we're grabbing that detail because that's what we're after now we can go ahead and fill up our flask and this is where we're going to use our brute force to pack all this down so how we do that is just by taking our rolling pin here and just even and we Packing it in to our flask around our mold. Pack it in as tight as you can. All right. So now that we got that packed in there, I want to get rid of all this extra sand. because we don't need that. All right, 
So next, we need to carefully separate the two halves. Just like that. Very carefully. Now, as you guys see there was a little piece here. They come off, we can go ahead and try and fix that. Just give me a second, we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. We got this half. Looks clean, looks good. We're gonna put that off to the side. Now we need to remove this half here. So we remove the sprue. Now we need to grab a little tool here, just to give it a couple taps, just to loosen it up within the sand. You don't wanna hit it too hard. Uh, just like that now I already feel that it's a little loose which is good we can go ahead and give it a couple taps to persuade it now we want to just grab another tool here poke it in the center and just carefully lift it out of there without disturbing any of the sand very gently just like that you guys see how gentle I did that so we don't want to disturb any of the detail on the lines so now we just get rid of that little bridge here and just V it out just like that. Okay, now we need to add in some vents. So where is the best place to add our vents, you ask? Well, we wanna to try to stay away from the top of our piece from the detail okay so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to vent off the base that is probably our best option now just take your tool and just push down lightly and make a couple lines into it and again on this side just gently, we don't want to disturb the mold. We don't want to wreck the mold, nothing like that. So all we're doing is just venting to allow our gas and our air to escape. Okay. Let me show you guys closer up. What we got going on here. So as you guys can see our vents. Okay. And then we just take a simple toothpick at the end of the vent line. Just poke through to the other side on both vents. And what this just allows is that air to escape out of that side. Now we want to make sure we blow off any loose sand. Okay, we look good. So we bring back our bottom. We add our top. Add it into place. Push down. Give it just a tad little bit of a roll there. Nothing too... Uh, over the top and then we just add on a couple of our clamps just like that okay so guys we're gonna pour this and uh, once we pour it we'll be right back all right guys we are back on the pond 
let's check it out and see if it filled and did everything it needed to do. So, see if them vents work. I see two vents there. It looks like the vents worked. Did what I needed them to do. So, just gonna Now we're just going to take our toothpick here and you don't want to scratch it up. So we do see some lines which are good, good, good. Alright, let's pull it out. So from what I can see here, we got ourselves one beautiful pond. Check it out guys. Silver pond, ready to clean up. I'll show you guys the finished pond once it's cleaned up. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned.